In tonight's Healthier Me, finding out you're pregnant can fill your mind with all kinds of questions, like whether you're eating right or getting enough sleep. Valley News Team's Danielle Barber explains how maintaining your fitness and health during this period of extra demands on your body is key. Mike and Stephanie, women are used to living their lives a certain way, and then suddenly many find themselves questioning everything they do. So I spoke with a Sanford doctor to find out which pregnancy myths are true and which aren't. You worry a lot about what you're doing and if it's healthy for your baby. Like most expectant mothers, Nicole Clems is no different. Even with her second child on the way, she still says she has concerns. I was worried that I would exercise too much. And so I was surprised that they said that, you know, whatever you were doing beforehand, you can do while you're pregnant. Even if you haven't been exercising before, healthy women um, without specific medical issues or complications of pregnancy should uh, continue or initiate an exercise program during pregnancy. Dr. Christine Kipe says this is because the risk of developing conditions like gestational diabetes or high blood pressure increases in pregnant women. And so initiating or continuing exercise can help reduce the risk of those um, conditions. It can also reduce the risk of excessive weight gain in pregnancy that can have um, complications with um, birth or neonatal complications. But it isn't just exercise that women have to worry about. Dr. Kipe says when it comes to food, infection is a big threat. So the first major thing would be something called listeria, which is a bacteria that can cause a food poisoning. So that's why we recommend that people don't eat um, unpasteurized cheeses, um, deli meat that's not warmed up. And while the eat for two expression is a common belief, Dr. Kipe says that's actually not the case. In the first trimester, women really don't need to have an excess, um, excessive amount of calories. In the second and third trimester, about 300 extra calories per day. But every woman's body is different. And Dr. Kipe says to consult with your doctor before you do anything. Now, if you're pregnant during the summer months, Dr. Kipe says to stay hydrated at all times. She also recommends exercising in water since it's not as hard on the joints. But she says to avoid hot water like a hot tub in the early stages of pregnancy because there's an increased risk of birth defects. Stephanie? All right, thanks. For more exercise and nutrition tips from Dr. Kipe about pregnancy, you can visit our website at valleynewslive.com. Later in sports, playoffs are in full swing for North Dakota Legion. B Beth will be in with highlights from Class B. And McDonald's is making some changes to how long you can get breakfast at its stores.